Michael, a 16-year-old basketball player, has finally made the varsity team at his high school. He lives, eats, and breathes basketball, following his favorite stars in the NBA and college. He's totally into it, and his dream is to play for UNC like his hero, Michael Jordan. Now, Michael has everything going for him. Height, speed, quickness. He's got a great shot that he's practiced for uncountable hours since he started specializing in basketball two years ago. In pickup games, Michael is amazing, and nobody can guard him, as he makes just about everything out there whenever he has an open shot. But during games, however, it can go two ways for Michael. One, maybe he makes his first few shots, or most of them, and, and he continues to tear up his opponents, and he, and he plays just like he does in pickup games. <laughs> this is why he made the team. Or two, he misses one or two of his first shots, and then it seems like he turns into a different player. He gets timid and he passes off when he has the open shot. His parents remark that they can see his body language that is completely off. Even the fans notice how when he slaps his, the side of his head whenever he comes to the bench after making a mistake. Game over for Michael in that scenario. And when asked by his coach or his dad what happens to him in scenario number two above, he says he loses confidence in his shooting. Now confidence in shooting is everything to a basketball player. What's the solution for all the Michaels out there? How does a basketball player get confident in the shooting after missing a few in a row, huh? Well, the great players say to just keep on shooting until it comes back, just keep on shooting. Easier said than done, right? Why, well, here's what to do. Number one, start a confidence journal. Write out a list in your confidence journal all the reasons why you can be confident. The list will have such things as, because I have skills. Write down a letter yourself about your proven skills. List should have, because I've been confident before. List the games when you were confident. The list you'd have because people have told me I'm good or, or that I do have a good shot or any other such praise from outside sources like coaches and teammates. List what they have said to or about you. Write down any stats that prove you're good. In your journal, start tracking your performances like from practice games where you've played like you know you can. For example, today, I shot 12 for 14 with 28 points, or whatever the numbers are. Number two, once a day, take five minutes before you go to bed and read your confidence journal. Practice bringing up those confident feelings all over again in your body. Relive those past times when you really were confident and making everything. Then, get in bed, close your eyes, and imagine yourself having just missed two or three shots in a row, and you know that's gonna happen. And then focus on those feelings that you just generated, right? Then as you fall asleep, repeat to yourself this phrase that you'll bring with you to the actual game. Confidence is mine now. You can come up with a different phrase about confidence if you want, that's fine, all right? And then what you wanna do is imagine yourself playing with that confidence with the knowledge that you just missed two or three in a row and coming back to make everything after that. This is what I call pre-living success. And you have to do this, you have to do this regularly and often. Don't expect that you're gonna solve your lack of confidence in the game by, by just watching this video and understanding this and, and expecting to magically be confident the next time things don't go well in the court. No, nobody does what I'm teaching here. Coaches will just tell you to visualize your shots going in and see yourself winning the championship and other such basic visualization techniques, none of which will help you when your confidence has left you because you lost, missed a couple shots, right? You have to get specific about the game time scenarios and train your body and your mind to do what you want at the time you want it to do it during the game. And mentally practice this before game time, often, everywhere, every night, every day. 
Very few players, especially younger ones, will actually follow through and do this. They'll continue to fall apart after a few misses and they'll think that all they have to do is practice shooting more and their coach will give them such simple advice as you have to believe in yourself and nothing will change. Why? Because it's a subconscious belief and these don't go away so easily. Don't be one of those who don't take this advice. Work on this as much as you do your free throws. Get this advantage. Having confidence in your shot is what allows your body to follow through with the skills you have. You know that's true because you have confidence in practice and pickup games, don't you? Getting confidence in your shooting will pay off far more than tweaking the mechanics of your game. Alternatively to all this, you could get the Mental Toughness Academy or, or work with me in person to get rid of those beliefs and, and the dropping off of confidence in the whole first place. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigel, your mental toughness trainer.